Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2. This is our network as it stands. A lot of green trains. So, uh, oh, this might have been what happened <laughs> over the uh, the course of our cab ride. There was a countdown as we were pulling into Cambridge, and I'm guessing that is what that was. Uh, we don't have the finances to uh, go against the competitor there. So you can have your chemical plant. I have no idea what you're going to do with that, sir. Uh, talking of research points, we have nothing we can spend. I really don't see a need for that. It doesn't block us from anything. This one is not a bad one to run with. Uh, reducing the construction cost of all of our buildings, which is going to cost us two. If we can uh, reduce the cost of tunnels, I'd prefer not to tunnel. There is also increased the reliability of our locomotives by 5%. I think bribery is the way to go for us. Yeah. Cheaper railway buildings and factories. And uh, yeah, that's just going to help us expand faster. Okay, plans are afoot. Letting the money go up. We're going to hook up our wood. Birmingham needs to grow. We will check on the state of play. Corn's going to be an issue at the moment. We can maybe set up some sort of warehouse in London to get that shifted to us. But uh, not while our balance is this low. Wood would just be a, a good one now, wouldn't it? I would like to branch into one of our stations here, which is a possibility. However, London also requires wood. And why not help London grow? Do we run a mixed service into London is the question. We do, I believe, don't we? Yeah, so we run a mixed service into London. So this looks like the likely candidate for our warehouse. So we should hook our wood up into Oxford and get this wool hooked up as well. It's going to need it. That's either two bridges or some bizarreness going on. Double tracking this is going to be beneficial anyway. We could also run direct trains in, couldn't we? To London. Yeah, that would be another option for us, where we skirt past. Now, they will have... They will have the mixed trains available into London, though, so it might save us a bit of a journey, and we can push the growth of our wood here. How much is it going to cost us to get across the Thames here? Hopefully not too much. We can go as close as possible. Uh, that will cut down the journey time. But it might make the grade rough. We'll see what the bridge is like and everything. Uh, we're going to have to hook in... Oh yes, we'll need a gridiron at Oxford. And we'll hook in to the gridiron from the uh, from the terminal there. Don't really need it that slow. Although our trains are not that quick, we might as well have a nice curve to uh, branch into. 43 should do it, shouldn't it? Do you know, guys, 80,000. If we hit play, we can get a little bit more money while we're waiting. We don't have to purchase another platform just yet. So if we just double track that all the way across, I don't know whether hooking into here is going to be too tight or whether we go across again. Given how pricey the bridges were not, <laughs> it might be worth just going across. We have our two points. Should we go with... Cheaper everything. It's factories and railway buildings. And we're about to build us a warehouse here, aren't we? Yeah, that's marvellous. We'll run with that. Uh, do, do we even need to double track across the bridge then? If we brought it back here after the bridge... Uh, what is it currently, anyway? 50k. Let's see how much cheaper this would be. So, well, there, there's your answer. Definitely. We'll go with that. <laughs> uh, we could single line into there in the old days. That would be messy now. Uh, I say we just go with a second bridge across here. As the, it didn't really cost that much, did it? Right, let's pause it again. We'll get some signalling done. Oh, yes. You needed signalling, didn't you? Oh, that's fine. I, I, it got the right way straight away. So uh, it didn't reset our train, or did it? Did you vanish? What, what are you doing? Hit play. Oh, you stuttered. You're thinking about it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, we can get this running. 
we're also going to need a maintenance yard on here, aren't we? Because uh, these two facilities are not going to have access to a, a yard otherwise. Right, well, let's get the train running. It's going to take a little while before they need it anyway. Freight only. And we'll use the cheap freight train for this. Oh, why don't I go that way? <laughs> it's four clicks if you go up and five if you go down. Probably because I always go... I always go to the left, don't I? When we're going maximum. So I've got to get out of that habit now. Fantastic. Right, get you a, a G&M on. G and M. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Do we need anything like a caboose? Mm, not really. I mean, we could. It would give us a little bit of extra income. But they're also, what is it, like 20k? Yeah, they're also 20k, so... Let's get uh, as much on as possible, including our warehouse. And uh, the warehouse is going to cost us a little bit. How much is it actually now? Because uh, we've got that cheaper stuff, haven't we? Where's our warehouse? 126,000. That's kind of pleasant, isn't it? Let's speed things up a bit then and we'll get that hooked in. And then we can start shifting some wood around to both London and... And, yeah, and to Birmingham, directly from Oxford there. I like that as an early solution. We could, uh, of course, run trains direct. But I'm liking this one so far. There we go. Do we have a mixed service running in? We do, don't we? From Birmingham. Is this a mixed service? It is. Uh, the London to Liverpool is an express, which makes sense. There's all of our trains down there. It's beautiful. I thought about moving this across to our Liverpool Street as well. He's not doing much, is he? No, he, he's not very frequent at all. So he's not really going to get in the way. This might see us start to uh, supply some logs, though, which would be great. None yet. Did you even take anything? Or did I put you on zero? Or did, uh, I bet Oxford stole them all, didn't they? Well, they didn't steal them. Yeah, there you go. You've got a plenty of logs for a while. Getting over here with grain and corn. Grain, we could maybe. Our lines are not that busy, are they? So we could have a little line branch off. We could go across there. That'd be fine. Do you know, I sort of like that. How much grain do we have? We have 1721. It would mean putting a uh, a gridiron back in here. And how's our train? Oh, well, look at that. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Should we double up on that? I sort of like it. Yeah, let's get another one running on that line. We'll gridiron down to, what was what that? The east side. Yep. <laughs> the east side of Murray Station there. And we'll have a... a a freight line running down into Oxford and we'll just reuse all of our lines that with the auto signaling there's plenty of blocks uh, more than enough blocks I would imagine what's the lay of the land for you Mr. Wool I mean we can get right over here and we can share the same line heading into Oxford as the Hamilton terminal there our wood uh, it depends how much this all costs us if it's not too expensive, I'll take it. And again, we can do the uh, just a single bridge at 50k. I will take 50k, thank you very much. And we'll just double track from that point so we don't have to pay for bridge widening. And we'll get you hooked in. Like that. And then we'll get a delivery of wool for you. And again... Go the right way, Grand. We'll uh, put you on half load maximum. And, uh, oh, no, we don't want the Jenny Lind. So we do have the option to go straight across there, should this not be enough. And we'll just see how much demand that they're going to put on the, the logging camp up there in London. Uh, we have two on the way already. They do produce quite a bit to start with. 4.2 a week, isn't that? Yeah, weekly production. And uh, compared to, say, milk, for instance, which is only 1.6. Okay, so Birmingham's growing. 
let's take a look you have four logs on the way again getting corn over there that's going to require a, another warehouse or two because our corn actually heads into liverpool street which would mean a crossover over onto the west coast main line to branch off and maybe into oxford since they already have a warehouse I, it's not overly busy yet it could be a good temporary solution yes so if we put our warehouse here just to get this corn over and into our network and that would supply both oxford and birmingham um, we could then potentially oh yeah and it would in fact supply cambridge there where's the other corn isn't it miles up here yeah, it's up north but uh, there's a gaggle of tracks up there birmingham is the gateway for the great western to occupy the rest of britain that's why we must banish them to the southwest like a genie to its bottle yes bottles and genies i just didn't expect that at all that's marvelous <laughs> i love that right anyway let's get some corn your transport numbers aren't bad but i have to say during my time with the East India Company, we shipped at least five times as much every day. And yeah, I guess that was going to be not far behind. Uh, so we're already up to 85,000 in the Northern England region. Now that does include Liverpool, Manchester, York, as well as Carlisle. So we can probably do this without Carlisle. But if we bring up the uh, contour layers there, Mr. Orange Pants here, we smug face, has stolen the best route. The best way to get down there. It would cost us an absolute fortune to get to Carlisle. Uh, it, it's doable. I would just prefer this bit available. And you've kind of straddled it. Well, what, why have you gone through here? You could have gone through this part. You do you, Mr. AI. This is why I'm going to win the game. I might have jinxed it. Okay, have we got this sorted now? We've got we've got our warehouse, haven't we? Is there anything else we need to take from here? Well, there's milk, isn't there? When is milk going to be required? From 35,000, which is our target, isn't it? So we should maybe change how this works. Are you on the way? Uh, you are not on the way yet. In fact, I believe you just pulled in. Yeah, you're back. You're just back. Yeah, I'm going to change how this works. We're going to come in here. We're going to change this to a double track now. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's going to start busying up and we want to be able to, uh, in fact, do that back there. We definitely want to be able to throw more and more trains on this as it's our only corn delivery at the moment. That means a gridiron up there. And we're now going to be uh, we're now going to be threading into Liverpool Street instead of Euston. Right, so you're going in that way now. Look at that; it's a better grade and everything. Don't need to be double tracked, I don't think. Anyway, we might as well just have a shorter crossover then, if you're going to slow down. Regardless, it's because of this curve, I would imagine. That'll do for now, and we're going to need to change your root details i mean we could have just made a new one but uh oh yes you haven't signaled it we can do that afterwards don't let me forget not euston i'd like you to go into liverpool street please and since you're taking your time and we've got a bit of money i would like to do that yeah let's get you with a caboose on for a bit of increased income it should pay for itself and what do i not need to forget direction of travel there we go you should be good to go now that's also freed up some traffic in Euston we're going to need some maintenance buildings aren't we one in Oxford Oxford 2 is that oh yes because I think the uh, private lines so let's get some maintenance going for you that sorts out that trio of stations you do have some don't you yes uh We'll need at least Liverpool or Manchester to have one. So let's go Manchester. Why not? There we go. That should cover 
all bases, I'm hoping. You do have one, and you have the warehouse. We don't really need to take the corn in there just yet. Okay, well, we've spent a fortune now, but we should trigger a bit of demand for our corn, although I feel like we might struggle to actually pick some up yet. Yeah, these are going to need to expand. We're not buying them at 810,000. How are we doing on our tasks now? Of course, yes, London growing is, is going to be part of this. And they should start to get some wood, which will help their percentages. What is your current percentage? I think you were quite high. No, you're not. 77.4%. But once you get that wood... It, oh, sugar. Yeah, once you get that wood in, you'll be fine. Sugar is... Well, we've got some on the little island of... Is that the Isle of Wight? The, uh, maybe. And... Yes, <laughs> I thought that was an airport there. No, it's uh, what is that? Oh, that's marvelous. They're packaging up the sugar, and then you're going to take it to Duty Flop Station there, who's doing absolutely nothing with it. This is what I dread about using this. That is a lovely bridge, isn't it? Well, viaduct almost. I'm not sure where you've gone. Oh, yeah, you are quite high up. That's that's rough. I feel like we need to get that, though. It's going to help London, isn't it? It's just going to be ridiculously pricey to get over there. So far, we've got a little bit further. We've managed to get in some wood. And Bristol's now in play. It's going to be tight to get round uh, the uh, all of Wales. We, yeah, we purchased Wales in one foul swoop. Or access to Wales. Getting across here isn't too bad. I don't think. What do you look like? Maybe a bridge. I guess we could stick close to the bottom there with our cows. Yeah, we'd have to shift where our cows are. Where it's placed now is ideal for Birmingham, but not so great to head past Bristol. We could also use this second station to connect into Bristol, couldn't we? Yeah, we'd have to double track it. We do have a bit of money now. If I delete this, though, <laughs> yeah, we can't put another one in because he's stolen the ideal place for us. But uh, we've got this building right there. I guess it doesn't need to face it, does it? We can just have a bit of curvature to it. Yeah, if we branch in... Double track up to the station. We don't need to fully double track. And we'll join in either at the gridiron or past the... I don't No, I don't really want to share the supply tower because we're going to be using this now as an express line to uh, hopefully get in to... Br is that Bristol? Yeah, get into Bristol. Oh, we can, you know. We can sit further down as well which might be nice for us I don't know we'll see how all this sits are they going to complain I'm surprised they haven't I guess they're not very competitive one of these can branch off to Oxford as well which I, d I didn't think about and we can use this wood for uh, both Bristol and uh, is that Plymouth down there or is it Dover not Dover <laughs> Dover's over the other side grand what are you? Plymouth, yes. Dover, dear, oh dear. Yes, ignore Wales for now. We can't do anything with that. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a grade, which I'm a little bit concerned about. A viaduct would be ideal, but we're kind of got to go up and then down, haven't we? Anyway, to get up here, there's no way we can get Birmingham any lower than what they're at. Look how much that's going to cost us. Can we head down for a start? Let's get that grade off if we can. Well, we've got it vanished, haven't we? Oh, it's beautiful. I think we nailed it, guys. Yeah, there we go. We'll move that over if it will let us. Perfect. We're going to want the second platform because it's going to get quite busy in here rapidly. And this is, this is nice, isn't it? So 150k, almost what we have anyway. Money's starting to come in fairly decently now isn't it yeah what are we at 162,000 let's get you built and then we'll see how much the double track is which should be 
a little bit better at the very least. Yeah, there we go, 113k. Make sure we're hitting play. Then we can get a mixed service. No, we'll just get an express running that. Okay, we've got the money. Let's get you signaled up. Direction of travel sorted. Let's get you with a gridiron up this end. It'll be nice when we can start expanding, but for now, for now this is nice. Let's get you with a supply tower on and we'll run an express service well best hit play because this is going to be pricey uh yeah the iron duke they like to charge a lot for that but it, it's apparently worth it maintenance requirements are really good on this it's almost like it's a long distance isn't it we're gonna have to forego the caboose i believe yeah but it'll be another train making us money Passengers certainly make us the money. We could think about adding a restaurant on some of our stations. Maybe Birmingham might actually get one. And while we don't have a warehouse in there. Because it's just going to up the ticket prices, isn't it? And then we get a little bit more. And Birmingham is the, the centre of the world for us in this one. How are we doing? Are we, can we afford you yet? Oh, maybe we can caboose you up. I wouldn't mind it. It's it's extra money, isn't it? Oh, as for the colours, I couldn't find an option anywhere to permanently turn them on. So I've just got to remember to turn them on before I record, just in case you were wondering. Right. One star. Oh, yes. Nothing of note. It's going to be two stars for us. And then we can. London has grown, which is great and worrying at the same time. As if they get close to 90,000, we're going to have to purchase an industry with this terrible income. As as it's nearly 200k a week. Okay, not too terrible. We might need to start doubling up on these. Yeah, he was full last time. Is what that means. But he wasn't this time, so he should stay yellow. What about you, sir? Yeah, you, you are maxed out. Our Birmingham to Manchester Express is busy. So, can we afford it? We can. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, two yellow trains would be good. Possibly. They're on the same line, so eventually they'll space themselves out, is what the plan is there. That Manchester to Liverpool service is in the yellow. It doesn't make us the most amount of money. Did I get a caboose on that as well? Yeah, I did on both of them. Lots of greens, not so great, but lots of yellows. A good portion are yellow as well. So, yeah, we're starting out green here because it's only done a single run and that's why we're not making much in the way of anything. It's actually full. Well, Bristol's not too small on, on our playthrough, is it? No. Should we check on our tasks at hand? We're halfway there. Well, I started singing in my head. Terrible, terrible man. Right, we're, I won't inflict it on you. We are over halfway to reaching that in London already. Good job, us. Eight and a half million on our company value now. That is rising. We're about to get it, guys. 1847. We needed to do it by except we are going to do it around, well, yeah, in October, I reckon. 1845 and then our next push will be the north of England which we are kind of doing adding another train to this line is going to increase the frequency of passengers heading to Manchester oh yes I wanted to check didn't I will people now don't let it go to your head you fulfilled a goal not save the empire I am not interested in saving empires but I am happy about the goal so, yeah, the opposite to what you said. Yeah, we need to get milk into play for, for Birmingham. Did I ever add it to this warehouse after all that? No. Anybody prompting me? I mean, we didn't technically need it, but I did forget. So there we go. I heard you. We have some money in the bank. Birmingham, Birmingham's going to need that milk. Yeah, we obviously got the, the task completed. It's going to be a big push up north now, which, again, as I was saying, we sort of did by pushing people up there. And what I would like to check is, as Mr. Huey, 
got involved. Notice I neither said captain or his name correctly. That's what you get, Huey. Passengers from Birmingham, are any going to York via Manchester? There is our answer. We know now they will jump across stations or walk, I guess, would be more adult-like. But yes, they will walk across from one station to the other as they're all going via Manchester to get to York. That is good to know. Uh, yes, Dover, you are going to need a supply tower over here, aren't you? Or two, which we can afford. We have a bit of money in the bank, so we'll get one on there. We'll get one on there. We do have one on our line direct into Liverpool Street. The Cambridge line is sharing that one. These guys have one running from Cambridge to Birmingham. And it might be time now to put one there. Put one just there. Um, shift that one over to Cambridge. And delete the one over on the main line. There we go. Now what we've got is the main line is free of filling up. Am I... Am I right there? Except here, we need to get rid of that one as well. But be careful we uh, put it back in a place that isn't going to miss out on any trains. I think all we need to do is get it in there. Right? Yes. Get you in there. We do have one on the York to Manchester line. I think we're good now. Now, this is the only one we don't have. Right? These two. We've got 130,000. Plenty of money. Oh, no. Don't build an industry. Plenty of money left. So we'll get one heading into Liverpool there. One on the main line there. We can't really avoid it any other way. That's for the Birmingham Direct to Liverpool. Do we have that, actually? Thinking about it? Do you know, I'm clicking and nothing's happening. Do I have to zoom out to click it? We have, we have trains on here, don't we? Yes, we do. We have that one. What what on earth is going on there? Is that because I deleted the thing? I, I tell you what, I'm going to hit play while hovering over this. Will you sort yourself out? It's beautiful. Okay, now I can take a look. That's why it didn't work. Okay, yes, we have the, the one to Manchester, which we've done. We've got the freight train and we've got the Euston to Liverpool. We do not have a local service. I say local, they're all technically intercity. But yeah, we don't have a service running from Birmingham into Liverpool. Um, which would be, again, another express. And if we do put us, just for now, we can change our mind later. A nice restaurant at Birmingham. Uh, that will give us 15% increase for all of the passengers stopping here. Which would possibly make sense then to get rid of the direct service from Liverpool to London but it's extra it's extra money isn't it so let's have a train running to Liverpool and this is going to be an express with a caboose because we can afford it we'll get the Iron Duke on you beautiful a little bit more cash coming in London has grown <laughs> London London could have actually a library that would make it a little bit easier no no you still can't afford things like that grand <laughs> although we nearly can how much do they cost now Ninety thousand because of all of our benefits oh no you can afford it yes ninety let let's let's grow london i mean i half want to grow them the other side of the thames because that's where a lot of the stations are anyway aren't they so yeah the ones heading north anyway euston and king's cross can we do that? Can we get you growing out that way a bit? What's that done for the, our sprawl? Or won't it go across the river? What do I need to build? If I build as a train station... Yeah, you're not going to go over there. Oh, it cuts it off. So this is the maximum it's ever going to grow. We're a bit wonky, aren't we? We should be straddling the Thames a bit there. Yeah, I'm not sure why you haven't straddled the Thames, London. That would make more sense. But anyway, that's what the devs have decided. I notice you got some trains running. One of our competitors. And we're... I tell you what, we're in a good place, aren't we? I like it. Yeah, what do we need from you? The milk. But uh, I did add that eventually. Which will 
push the milk delivery from here a little bit. Uh, it would be nice to get sugar into London. Because they do need to grow. How are we doing? 85,000. We've got to start thinking about Manchester and the north, haven't we? Urgently. Logs is going to be tough. But we can do it if we do something with Oxford. And grain we can do. It's time to beef up this central station here. And uh, start delivering direct up to Manchester, I believe. Yeah, that'll be our plan next time. Shall I tell you what I'd like to do before we go? Let's put back in, just quickly, while our trains are doing nothing, a couple of gridirons in here. And I'd like to just run as a train down to Oxford. Because they need grain as well, don't they? And it's going to be awful trying to get it from over there at the moment. But uh, with the thought of us making this a little bit more of a... A station station to transfer some goodies will briefly skirt over the main line rather than oh no not like that rather than wasting a fortune on bridges I would like you to be max speed oh it doesn't really matter actually because you're coming out of a station 46 miles an hour will do there we'll run just a single freight train up to we don't need this fast we'll run it up to Oxford there just get some grain into Oxford. I know it's going into Oxford and it should be going into Manchester. But uh, we want to also concentrate on London, don't we? That's something we've got to keep an eye on. And I think we can get away with this. Being freight only. On a slow, slowish train. Oh no, do you know what we should do? Maybe we could put a hotel there to get over to Cambridge. I've not... I've not actually looked into hotels. Should we run a mixed? I've, I, yeah, just as a little experiment. I want to see what happens. Let's get the Jenny Lind. That'll be better. So we've got an automatic Jenny Lind. We, we don't currently have passengers here, but we're going to take some grain first anyway. I, I would love to see how the hotel works. And we can, we can find out when we come back. Okay, what else do you want on there? Caboose? Probably not. Yeah, let's just leave that because we've got to actually afford the, the hotel here, don't we? How much is a hotel? Oh, 81,000? Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, I take it back. We'll do that when we come back. <laughs> yeah, that just seems expensive. We might as well just branch off there and have a, a mix service running into... In fact, that's like the easiest connection in the world, isn't it? Yeah, you go across there. We'll have a mixed service running directly into uh, Oxford like that. And then you can get uh, whatever they have. Wood and wool. Uh, uh, cloth, even. That's nice, isn't it? Simple little connection. I mean, this is going to get messy fast, but I like it. We'll set you up and we'll ride across that nightmare of a junction. Chicane. And yes, automatic. Get the Jenny Lind on you. We'll uh, we'll hit play. Make sure we've got the money. Then we'll buy it. Then we'll get on board. And there's our cab ride, guys. All right, guys. We're on board. Our, our Oxford-bound train from Cambridge. A mixed service. Oh, it's busy, isn't it? Yeah, that guy behind us was forced to wait. He was supposed to go ahead of us. But it's fine. Good for the outro. I was kind of hoping we'd follow him for a little bit, but it's okay. I enjoyed that one today. We have to concentrate a little more on Manchester and Liverpool, perhaps, and maybe York. But uh, yeah, we'll head that way. Now we've got all of this southern slash Midlands region busied up. And we'll, we'll do a similar connection to what we just did with Oxford to Manchester and uh, maybe get some of what's happening over at york sorted out as well but yeah i love this ride anyway guys i'll leave you on board for the rest of the journey and until next time take care